I raise my hands in the dead of night Asking God for a better life And I know that He'll be there in the moment His mercy is not equivalent Magnificent and infinite And today's topic, to, today's topic is about your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during this holy month of Ramadan. A very important topic indeed. Are you trying your best to get the maximum benefits from this holy month of Ramadan? Did you know that the month of Ramadan is like a treasure chest with an unlimited supply of rewards for all of us? We can get as many rewards as we try for, just like a carnival. Yes, that means the more good deeds we do, the more rewards we will receive. Today is the second day of Ramadan. In this month, we are all trying to be the very best version of ourselves we can be. But does anyone know why? Is it just because we want to get rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Actually, no. To some extent, yes, but we truly want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For those of you who fast or try to fast, I know it is really hard to fast while being in school. However, this will have an immense reward for you. Speaking of school, let's ask ourselves a question. What is the best part of going to school? My biggest attraction in school is learning new things and hanging out with my friends. I'm sure yours is too. We all love our friends and share a bond with them. Let's pause here and think for a moment. Think about a friend who is closest to you. Let's call this friend person A and ask yourself, can you share everything from your life with this person? If you are in a situation where you need help, would person A help you? And does he or she have the power or the resources to help you if he or she wants to? Friends, we all know in our hearts that even if we want to, we can't help our friends in all situations because there are certain things beyond your control and we have our limitations. But is there a friend to whom you can tell everything without fear of being judged and controlled? There's only one friend in the whole wide world, Allah who not only listens to us all the time, but has full control over everything to help us. In the Holy Quran, Allah says, And when my servants ask you about me, then surely I am near. I answer the prayer of the one who called when he prays to me, to so let them respond to my call without hesitation. And you know what the best thing is? Allah is the most loving one. How will we make Allah our best friend? Here are some tips that will help us building our relationship with Allah. Firstly, Talk to Allah every day. Just like you speak with Allah, just like you speak with your friends, we can talk to Allah anywhere, anytime, and in any language with respect. Our conversation with Allah does not require a phone, a connection, or a meeting. We just have to give our very, very, very full attention to Him. Secondly, you can share the best or worst part of your day with Him. And thirdly, you can ask Him for help whenever you are in trouble. Allah is al muahid the all-encompassing. It means that he has power over everything. And yes, in this life, we also need others whom we can form human bonds with and find comfort. As we can see, friends are very important and we are supposed to be allies of one another and an ally is a synonym of friend. Thus, we are encouraged to be allies of one another as Muslims. So inshallah, seek and try to be true allies with whom have your best interest at heart as well as those who seek purity and closeness with Allah, but start building our relationship with Allah by following the simple steps we discussed as well. Let us all practice and decide that we will not only rely on Allah for everything, but also make ourselves reliable for the creation of Allah in times of need. Thank you so much for joining today. It was nice talking to you all and Quidafis. Stay tuned for the activity. Joining us again for another craft. Tonight we will be making a sadaqa box and a gratitude jar. So come on, let's see how we're going to make these. 
Okay, so we can start with our gratitude jar. So like I said, anything you have at home, a mason jar, a jar an old jar of jam or pasta sauce, uh, you can just grab anything and you can use anything to decorate with. I'm going to use these pipe cleaners and I'm just going to kind of wrap them around, give it a little, Ooh, and it <laughs> popped right back at me. And there we go. Just going to tuck it under and wrap it. And you guys, you can use anything you might have at home. Stickers, sequins. Uh, you could probably even use this felt and like wrap it around, make it into like a cool character. Anything you have at home that you um, want to use to decorate. Make it personal, make it your own. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use any construction paper you have at home, any pieces of paper, and we are going to, every day, we will write something that we are grateful for. So something I'm grateful for are my kids. So I will write my kids, okay? And then I'll just fold it and put it in my jar. Another thing I'm grateful for is my health. Alhamdulillah for our health, something we sometimes take for granted. And I'm just gonna do that every night I'll, I'll be doing this and at the end of Ramadan inshallah right before Eid I want to open it and look at everything that I am grateful for and um, and read them okay so next we will work on our sadaqa jar um, sadaqa box I should say I got this at the dollar store but again you can use anything you have at home whether it's a jar a box anything um, and we're going to make it personal. So like here, um, I had my friend write her initial. You can do that. She made little flowers. You can put ribbons, sequins, anything you want. We can decorate this one together. Uh, my son loves soccer. So I got these stickers. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of put this one on top. Um, he likes football. just want to make it personal um, so that you know when they when you look at it it's yours okay we can do maybe basketball on this side I got some felt um, so you can take your box if you have felt if you don't that's fine you can paint these you can do so many things to them um, and you can just kind of cut it out cut around uh, the box so that you have the right shape and um, just kind of glue it on. So sadaqa is something really big in Islam, right? We want to give to those that don't have anything. We want to uh, be able to help if we can, of course. And it doesn't matter how little you give or how much you give. Anything you have that you want to give away, Allah knows. And only Allah knows. And um, you should be grateful and thankful that you have something and Allah loves those who give um, so what I want you guys to do for your sadaqa box is fill it every day if you have um, something to put in even if it's like a little penny it's perfectly fine but I want you to put every day if you can something in it and at the end of the month I want you to open it and see how much you collected and see if you can buy maybe a toy for some of the kids at the shelter or donate it um, somewhere to a charity that your parents um, donate to for uh, needy kids or anyone that might be in need. So there you go. I'm going to finish my uh, box here, but I hope this was um, helpful and you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, good night. I raise my hands in the dead of night Asking God for a better life And I know that He'll be there in the moment his mercy is not equivalent, magnificent.